So, scenarios. What is the math of a contested convention? The first goal is to get 51% of the votes of the delegates in the convention hall. Let's suppose that Senator Sanders goes into the convention with 32% of the delegates. He then needs to get 18% more of the delegates. Senator Sanders may pick up one or two from Buttigieg, got a pretty good chance of getting a nice chunk of them from Senator Warren because they're more ideologically attuned to each other, may not get them from Klobuchar, He's not likely to get them from Biden, and then he'll have to go fishing in the uncommitted to get himself a first ballot nomination. Now, in the old days, the big bargaining chip was the vice presidency. And frankly, that would probably still be the bargaining chip in today's world, because you would have these arranged marriages. So you're talking like Biden-Warren? Yeah, like Biden-Warren might be an arranged marriage. Certainly, Biden-Sanders would be an arranged marriage, or Sanders-Biden would be very much an arranged marriage. Mayor Mike Bloomberg. He could do well enough to come into the convention with several hundred delegates. At this point, I'd say he's probably more likely to be a kingmaker than the king, although anything's possible when you're spending that kind of money. He's going to hate this. Oh, he's going to love it. Come on. <laughs> he's going to love it. So you've given this a lot of thought. You think this could happen? I think this could happen, but I wouldn't give it more than a 50% chance. That's a lot. That's, that's still a lot, yeah. My reporting suggests that top Democrats, including the Democratic National Committee, are trying to avoid a contested convention at all costs. What's the risk for the party and its national leaders? Look, if you're President Trump, you want the Democratic Party to look inept, you want their whole field of candidates to look weak, and you want chaos. Welcome to a contested convention. That's right. <laughs>